because Cobra Kai never dies. What is going on guys, welcome back to Talking Cobra Kai, a channel where we talk Cobra Kai, and today I will be discussing why Robbie joining Cobra Kai might not be a bad idea for him. Now before we get into the video, this theory comes from, from King Cobra who says, Instead of going dark, Robbie will find his balance in Cobra Kai. Miyagi-Do showed him what he could be if he follows Miyagi-Do's philosophy and Kreese's Cobra Kai will show him where he'll end up if he keeps putting passion over principle. Thank you King Cobra for commenting this and I think you really do raise a good point here. Most of us have been thinking Robbie joining Cobra Kai will be really really bad for him but this comment has me thinking it will be good for him in the long run. You know, don't get me wrong, Robbie will still end up doing bad stuff, you know, he's probably gonna injure a few kids, or he might vandalize a few things, do a few crimes while he's in Cobra Kai, and not everything he will do will be good for him in the long run, but I think overall him joining Cobra Kai won't be so bad for him. You know, when Johnny was a kid, he was bullied at home by his stepfather and didn't have any friends. Then he joined Cobra Kai and his whole life changed. Kreese made him feel strong and really made him the man he is today. Johnny did end up doing bad things along the way when he was in Cobra Kai, but part of that made him the good man he is today. And like I said, when he joined Cobra Kai, he became strong and confident. And then, of course, 30 years later, he teaches it to students and he made all these kids who joined Cobra Kai stronger and more confident with themselves. So for the most part, when Johnny joined Cobra Kai when he was a kid, it wasn't a terrible idea. And also the same thing happened with Hawk. Kreese made Hawk a skilled and smart fighter, but he was still doing some terrible things along the way, but then he eventually realizes what he's doing is wrong and switches sides. Now when Robbie first joins Cobra Kai, I think he will really enjoy it because it's making him feel strong and confident. And he also finds Kreese and maybe Silver to be really good role models in his eyes. But similar to Hawk in Season 3, he will realize throughout the time he's in Cobra Kai, what he is doing is wrong. But Robbie really needs to join the dark side, which is Cobra Kai, to realize that he doesn't belong there. I think during the tournament, Chris will tell Robbie to do some dirty move which will injure Dimitri, but it won't get him disqualified. That's when Robbie first will really realize what he's doing is wrong and he's on the wrong side. Then when he makes it to the finals, which I believe will be with Miguel, Miguel will be injured going into the finals and then I think Robbie will score a point and Miguel's on the ground and then Robbie will offer to help Miguel up like how he did in season 1 but this time Miguel will accept it and they could nod to each other and it'll be like a sign of respect and basically the first respect we've seen between Miguel and Robbie. Kreese and Silver could give Robbie a dirty look after he did that and then I think Robbie will end up winning the tournament and Miguel will hand Robbie the trophy similar to how Johnny gave it to Daniel in Karate Kid 1. And then I believe in season 5 Robbie will finally go back to the good side. But anyway guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you think Robbie joining Cobra Kai is actually a good idea for him in the long run? Because I really do think he has to join the dark side to realize that he's on the wrong side. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you guys haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you know every time I upload. Follow my Instagram at TalkingCobraKaiYT. And remember, sweep the leg. You have a problem with that?